In today's video, I want to talk about a common mistake that happens in JavaScript projects when someone is not completely careful when uh, they're just defining variables, right? So here we have a simple function, uh, just a print function that all it does is define a variable, let's say x equals, let's change this to x17 or something, and it just prints it on the screen. If you run this, simple enough, it should actually give me uh, 17 here, right? Same thing happens if I do const, right? We do get 17, so that's correct. But what's gonna happen if we, for example, <coughs> try to print this variable after we uh, call the function? So, right, we call the function, we define this variable x equals 17, and then we actually try to print it outside the call. If we try to run this, in our case, we're gonna get the error that X is not defined because that's correct. X is only defined uh, in this scope, right? In this function scope. This is block scoped, so we only get it defined on this, uh, between these open brackets, open close brackets, right? Same thing goes if I do let X equals 17, right? So if I try to run this after clearing, clearing the screen, you'll notice the same thing, just X is not defined. So that's correct, we still get the same error. But in rare cases, when someone is not careful enough and is trying to rush some code out real, real fast, and really they don't they don't really need the code to uh, be good, but just to work, they might forget the let keyword. And what does that actually do inside um, JavaScript? Well, if we try to run this, you'll notice we actually print 17, even though we are printing X outside our function. That means that X is now defined outside this scope, right? X is defined at least inside this whole scope. What we might notice is that X is now actually a global variable inside the JavaScript. Yes, besides let, const and var, this is the fourth way you can actually define a variable using just no keyword. That would actually define a global variable. And usually it's not a good idea because then you wouldn't know where this variable is coming from. See, here I'm, I have the function here defined, but what if this was from another file, right? It would be much more difficult to find out what exactly we're printing here. For that, we actually have uh, the strict mode. So if I use here strict, my example, if I try to now run this code, you'll notice we get there or X is not defined. The same thing we got when we were trying to define it with a let, right? So when we did let, we still got X is not defined. Same thing with this one. So what we should take from this, basically, don't forget the let const or var keyword, whatever you prefer using, but don't forget that as it can create a lot of confusion, even though the code might work this time, if you come around and do this a second time, you're gonna have a second global variable with the same name and that's going to create uh, confusion, right? So the second takeaway is if you want to prevent such uh, global variables from actually being defined, you can use strict mode to get an error exactly where you're actually defining the global variable that says X is not defined. As you can see, this error is from the function itself, this line of code, not the actual console log, what it uh, previously uh, didn't work, right? So now we can actually check for that and actually throw an error, which is really, really nice to prevent such mistakes from happening. So that's about it for this video. I know it's really short, but I wanted to touch on this uh, topic because I see this problem uh, happen very often in the IT industry and it's it can create many problems later down the line. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave the questions down in the comments below or on our Discord server and well, take care. Bye.